let's start with the basics of helicopter control. Okay, the first thing we, we're going to look at is pitch. Pitch is basically the center of mass somewhere here in the helicopter, and that's the central axis. And this over here is the main rotor. And by pitching the nose forward or back, you're basically tilting the rotor disc. If that's the rotor disc over here, let's then you can tilt it, for example, you tilt it back like this. Then the rotor disc tilts like that. And that will make your helicopter go forward or backward. Okay, that's called the pitch. What's basically doing is that's your pitch. And you control it with your mouse forward and backward. And the next control is yaw. Now yaw is, again, the same thing. Here's the rotor disc. And it will make your helicopter do this. <clears throat> okay, this is yaw. Now the way the helicopter does that is by giving more collective to the tail rotor. And the tail rotor has leverage of the, on the main body of the helicopter. That's why it is so far away from the main rotor. And this will allow your helicopter to yaw, which means your nose is moving left and right. And you control that with your A and W keys on the default mapping. Then the next control is banking. And banking is basically this movement. You can also call it roll. And that is done with your mouse left and right. And this is also similar to pitch. It's basically a rotor disc being tilted left or right, and that will cause the helicopter to, to bank. <clears throat> then the next control is called the collective. Now what this does is collective is controlled with W and S. What it does, collective is, in really primitive explanations, it gives your helicopter the order to go up or go down. And the way helicopter does that is the rotor blades, depending on you, the way you set your collective, <clears throat> the rotor blades get a different angle and they interact with the air differently. And the more collective you give it, the more air gets pushed on, which increases the lift and the helicopter goes up. Okay, so let's sum up the, the basic controls. <clears throat> you have W and S. It's for a collective. Then you have your mouse. Let's make a little mouse. You move your mouse like this. You control bank. I gotta write this again. And mouse forward and mouse backward. It's your pitch. Now let's take a look at how helicopter moves. Okay, let's say this helicopter rotor disc. This helicopter. Rear disc. Now I gotta draw this again. Yeah, I gotta draw this another time. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, that's a helicopter now. <clears throat> now to take off, you give it collective with W. And what's going to happen is the helicopter is going to start to rise in the air. And then if you want to move forward, you give the helicopter, you bank the nose forward. What will happen then, the rotor blade goes like this, and the helicopter wants to go forward. And as you're flying forward, if you give it a less collective, the helicopter will start to sink. If you give it more collective, it's going to go up. And if you find the sweet spot for this particular bank angle, you will fly straight. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now we're using some rudder to get to the other direction.
you know, I'm basically controlling where I want to go with the helicopter by banking it left and right and pitching it forward and backward. And if you remain at the constant pitch around 45 a bit higher, then you, most of the time, you retain your altitude. And it's important that you do not oversteer your controls. It means if you give it too much in one control, it takes some time for it to react, and then you notice it too late that you gave it too much, and then you overcorrect in the other direction, give it too much, and then you're going to have a lot of difficulty controlling the helicopter. And it's always better to be slow and alive than being fast and dead. I'm mostly using my mouse right now. Barely any collective input. After all, what will help your team win more is a slow helicopter pilot that always gets your helicopter to the place in one piece and back back home in one piece. Okay, I'm flying through to the ground. And as soon as I reach the settlement, I'm going to turn directly north. And remember, you have to the faster you fly, the more you have to plan ahead. So if you're flying at this speed, consider what you want to do in four or five hundred meters and adjust your speed and um, adjust your velocity and all of that. Because once you're, you're close to the target, then it's too late to make any um, quick corrections to what you want to do. And the more practice you have, the, the faster you can do that. to the buildings and directly north. Looking at my compass on the screen, directly north. Okay, I'm banking, directly north. Now I should be north here. Now I can see the crossword over there. I want to fly a bit lower, so I'm losing some collective. And be really gentle with those inputs, because it takes time for them to react, and they're really forceful. So if you mess up your collective setting, it will get really hard to control at some point. And when you, in a situation where you lose control of the helicopter, try to balance it out with gentle inputs. Okay, now I have the same problem I had earlier. Because uh, you can't see where you're in front, of, in front of you if you're trying to land or something. So it's good to have a crew chief and a co-pilot to help you land. And you can do the thing where you just bank like this and you drift forward at a 30 degree um, angle. I think at the end of the road, that's where I wanted to land. Careful now. Careful. And if you have a crew chief, a guy sitting at the back of the of the open cargo door, he can he can direct you precisely where you want to land. And it's a great multiplayer experience to have a friend direct you with the helicopter. You know, balancing, balancing, and losing collective. Oh, power line, power line, come no 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 no. Yeah, that was a bit unclean. And Yep, that was an unclean landing. Well, it appears we have no damage, so I think it was a, yeah, that was functional. <clears throat> so I think this was all, and this should conclude the tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.